I noticed that you're, you're funded by, in part, by the Hong Kong Arts Development Council. Yes. Um, is that the major source of your funding? Because uh, you're, you're not part of a big studio at the moment. <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Well, le like uh, my whole career is, is funded by the Hong Kong Film, Hong Kong Arts Development Council. And so, um, yeah, they do fund small films like that. So I guess, um, yeah, what you used to have uh, in England. But um, yeah, they, they give out small grants, but n it's never enough. And so it's, it's, it's partly funded by the film, uh, Arts Film Council, but also uh, I put in some money myself. Well, we're, we're very glad you did. <laughs> um, and the cast, had yes. you worked with any of them before? And where do they come from? Um, they, no, I've not worked with any of them before. And they are, um, <coughs> they came from all over the place, actually. The, uh, the French guy is a friend of mine. And he works in China. And and then there's this other guy, uh, uh, Xiao Xiao Gang, and uh, the guy in the yellow shirt at the end. He's from Beijing and he's an actor. And the love interest Han, he is uh, also an actor and he's from Guangzhou, in southern China. And then uh, Yong Yong, the uh, girl, she lives in Hong Kong, but she's Chinese Indonesian. And, and where else has the film been shown? This is the international premiere. Yes, it is the international premiere. Uh, so it's been shown within been China shown. itself? Yeah, um, I showed it in, I showed it at the university uh, where I filmed the thing. Yeah, and, and it was shown in Hong Kong. Any interference or restrictions from the public authorities? Yeah, filmmaking in China is really difficult in that sense because uh, several times we ha we're just, and uh, it's not because it's a gay film, it's just filming without permission is, is problematic. And uh, it's like every other day we have to, um, we were kicked out of, of locations. So, um, and, but, um, but um, sometimes it's, it's surprisingly, surprisingly um, easy. Like in the church, we were able to get permission to film. Of course, we had to give them a fake script, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but on the whole, they were very supportive of, of filmmaking. Yeah. And, uh, but on the streets, it's always a nightmare because um, in these places, like uh, you stand there with a camera, you s a crowd would form and uh, it's impossible. Do you fear any repercussions? No, no, it's not like that. There's nothing they could do, really. And if I were a filmmaker working in China, they could ban me from making films in China, as some Chinese directors have been, um, who have, uh, they have either um, made films without permission or have shown their films abroad without permission. They've been banned from making films for a number of years. But they, um, but they would get foreign funding for the films, and they would keep on making films. Sometimes not in China, 